Okay, guys, uh, welcome. Uh, we're going to start with the lecture four in semester three. So in lecture four, we're going to cover um, comprehension and phonics because the last week we covered the grammar and writing. Um, so uh, notice that the writing grade that I'm going to take today is not the only one you're going to have other than uh, this grade. Um, uh, so let's start with the phonics for this week. Our phonics lesson this, this week will be about closed syllables, but first, yes, okay. Um, uh, so we're going to introduce the closed syllables. You will be able to identify the words that have closed syllables and to read the words with the closed syllables correctly. Okay. What? What? Do you want to say anything, guys? Who unmuted himself? I said, do not unmute yourself unless you raise your computer hand and I give you permission. Sorry, I didn't mistake. Okay. So your resources, as usual, your resources for the phonics, please stay muted, guys. Your resources for the phonics, guys, stay muted, please. Senator Tune, must please stay muted, okay? Senator Tune, okay, uh, I remember also you didn't submit the writing. It's not um, sent. Did you send it to me on WhatsApp, Yahsan? Sanftuni. Okay. As usual. You do not answer when I call you Yahsan. Why? So let's continue, guys. Our resources. Our res Miss, I can't hear you very well. Your voice is low. Low? Now it's is it better? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, guys. So your resources for the lecture for the phon phonics lesson uh, is ISI phonics booklet part two, pages twelve to twenty. You're going to find the explanation, um, uh, with the exercises. Okay, yeah. Shall we start with the vocab with the phonics? So in our table of content, we're going to cover phonics vocabulary, genre, and uh, comprehension skill, main idea, and key details. Let's just start today with the uh, closed syllables. First of all. We have to know what we mean by syllables. Okay, let's take an example. Listen to me carefully. Take an example of the word syllables. Okay, notice how many sounds do you hear? And when we say sounds, we mean the vowels. Si, this is the first sound. La, this is the second sound. Here I should uh, uh, cut it. La, okay. Say la, bills. Say la, bills. Okay, so if you notice here, uh, I'm having two sounds, let's say, eh and ah, okay? So the sounds, eh, si, and sil, labels, okay, I'm having then one, two, three sounds. This makes the word that has a three, three syllables. So what do I mean by three syllables? I mean the parts of the word that give me sounds, the parts of the word that give me sounds. So every part, every part in a word, Every part in a word that gives me a sound, I call it a syllable. And what makes sound or what gives us sounds in words, they are the vowel letters. So every syllable must have a vowel letter to give me a certain sound, okay? So this is the first point that we have to talk about, which is the meaning of syllable. So when we say syllable, we mean a part of a word that gives me a sound. Some words are made of one syllable, especially those words that have uh, short sounds or very, very short, okay? Like, uh, let's take an example, cup, cup. I hear I have only one sound, one part, so it's one syllable. Cape, I have the sound A. This is a short word with long sound. Cape, I have only one syllable. Okay, so you, you see, when I add more sounds to the word, when I have more than one sound in the word, so I have more than one syllable. Now let's move to our specific point, which is the closed syllable. What do I mean when I say closed? Closed, from the word, Closed, we mean that it's closed. How is it closed? Let's see. Okay, so in its simplest form, I gave you the simplest form. We say the closed syllable is a vowel followed by a consonant. So when I ask you what closes the vowel letter in the closed syllable, then I will have a consonant letter that will control, let's say that it will control, sorry, a consonant letter that will control the vowel letter and it will close it. Okay, so when I say closed syllables, then in the simplest form, I mean that I have a vowel letter closed between consonant letters, okay? Closed by a consonant letter after it. Example, let's take these examples. Cap, ah, short sound, ah, here I have the A. And it's closed with the consonant letter, sit, 
also the same close between consonant letters up notice after the u uh, up i have a consonant letter so these syllables uh, we call them closed what do we call them we call them closed okay why do we call it a closed again we repeat because it's a closed in by a consonant so you see a consonant letter controls over it closes it okay so we will have a closed syllable okay so most of the times we find the closed syllables with uh, short sounds most of the time what else uh, I might have more than one consonant that are closing the vowel letter. Notice these examples, dish. When you read the word dish, you notice that we have one vowel sound and I have one part, but notice that the I is closed between three consonant letters, a consonant letter before it and two consonant letters after it. So it's correct here. I have only one syllable, okay, that is closed between more than one consonant letter. Also, the second example, stretch, stretch. Okay, you notice that it's closed uh, between more than one consonant letter. So the rule doesn't say that the closed syllables only should be closed by one consonant letter. No, I might find more than one consonant letter. Um, uh, another note, many multisyllable. When we say multi, multi, we mean many, more than one. So when we say multisyllable word, we mean a word that has more than one syllable, more than one sound. And uh, a brief example for the a multisyllable word is the word itself multisyllable. Mul, ti, si, la, ber. So you see, I have more than one syllable in this word, so we call this word multisyllable. Okay, so the multisyllable words contain closed syllables and they may contain other than closed syllables, other types of syllables that we will take them later. But here, let's take these examples that have only closed syllables, like insect. If I want to divide it into syllables, I hear two sounds, in and sec, in, sec. So I have two closed syllables here, if you notice, in and sec. Rabbit, rab, bet. If you notice that I have between the two vowel letters a double consonant. Or here, napkin, nap, kin. Notice that I have two sounds, nap and kin. And I have two consonant letters between them, okay? So this is the, the closed syllables. That's it. This is the closed syllable, a, a vowel letter that is closed with a consonant or more than one consonant. But now let's see how we divide the word, the multisyllabic words that have closed syllables. When we, again, I repeat, when you say multisyllabic words, you mean words that have more than one syllable. They have closed syllables. Let's say if you want to use a closed part, yes, but it's better if you use the word syllable, okay? Um, when I have more than one syllable, in a word, I can divide them, but how there are certain rules to follow them in order to divide the words correctly. So it's easy to break a multisyllabic word into syllables and read it when the word is made up of all closed syllables. So that's why when you have long words, guys, I say divided into parts. What do I mean by divided into parts? Divide it into syllables. This way it will be easier for you to read it. Okay, let's follow the rules that I'm going to mention here in order to help you to divide the multisyllabic words. Um, Lana? Lana? Yes, miss. First of all, is Muhammad beside you? I don't see him. Miss, yes, he's right next to me, but he's shy to open camera. Oh, no problem. But Lana, please, can you read the first rule? Let's see how can we divide the, the uh, multisyllabic words. If there is only one consonant between two vowels you have to try splitting splitting two ways two ways, two ways. before the consonant the first before way. the consonant which will make the first syllable open with a long vowel the open syllable we're e going to cover later cover it later okay all of you the open syllable we're going to cover it later but here i want to show you something that sometimes you find a word with a closed and with an open syllable. How, for example, here these words, even and open, they start with a vowel. I have vowel, consonant, vowel. So I have one consonant letter between two vowels. How should I divide it or split it? Here, I, uh, when the first sound gives me a long sound, then I have to split the word between the first vowel letter and the first consonant. Okay? Read the second split, Lana. Split after the consonant making the first syllable closed with a short vowel. Okay, 
So sometimes in some words, I have to close the uh, syllable, sorry, to split the syllables between the consonant letter and the second vowel letter, like your example in solid. While you read, you will know how you should divide it. So if you notice that solid, since the vowel letter is in the middle, then I divided uh, the word between the consonant letter and the vowel after it. So let, so let, pi, vet, no, vel. Okay, so you see, while reading it, you know where you should uh, split the word between which uh, syllables. Thank you, Lana. Hala. 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 Two. If there are two between two vowels, sl split between them, expect when the two consonants are a digraph. Digraph. Example. Example. Okay, let me stop you here a little bit, Yahana, Di and explain it. So, when you have a word uh, between the vowel letters, I have two consonant letters. So, simply, I just split the word between the two consonant letters. I don't care if they are double or no. Example, basketball. Basket. Bas. So you see, I have S and K between the two vowel letters. So I split the word between the S and K. For example, gallop. Gallop, I have double L in the middle. So yes, I split between the double consonant letters. But what do, what does, what do we mean? Sorry, what do we mean by a digraph, first of all? He said, except when we have digraphs. Digraphs are two or three letters. Okay, guys, excuse me. Excuse me, let's continue. Okay, please stay. Hala, are you still are you still with me? Miss, what's Miss, so to come up this. Is it clear now? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I received I received your message, Miss. Okay, okay, okay. I heard you. I heard you. I heard you. Okay, so let's, okay, we're going to uh, do our best to finish the lecture. Guys, if you're not hearing me very well, no, sorry, let me send it to you in the chat. If you're not hearing me very well, you can- Mas, can you open the chat to talk with you if you're not hearing you? Yeah, okay, wait a little bit. If you're not hearing me, if you're not hearing me well, Please watch the lecture video today on the application. Okay. Okay, man. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, no problem, Mahdi. Okay, good, good. So let's continue now. We said that when the word in between the two vowel letters, I have two consonant letters, then I split the word between the two consonant letters. But what if I have a digraph? What do you mean by digraph? Digraph is when I have two letters or more than two letters that make one sound, like the SH, they make the SH, TH, TH, or the, the WH, CH, the CK, or blend, they make a blend PH, or a trigraph that ECH, okay? All of these, when I find them, I cannot divide the words between them. So if I have SH, I cannot split the word between the S and H, no. Example, a rocket, rocket, not C, that I have CK. I cannot split the CK because it's a blend. It makes one sound K, okay? Uh, so I cannot divide it between the CK. I divide it after the C and K. For example, not shell. Not shell. He notes that I have CH and the CH is a digraph. Uh, sorry, SH. SH is a digraph. I cannot split it between the SH. So I split it between the T and the S and H. Okay. Okay, Hassan, Hassan uh, fix. Maybe, maybe it's your internet connection also not good today. Maybe it's my, I don't know. Okay. But some of your friends are hearing me well. Okay, let's continue. Hatchet. For example, hatchet. Here, notice that I have a tri trigraph. Tri. I have a three letters. T, C, H. T, C, and H. So, I cannot split the word between the T, C, and H or T, C, H. No, I cannot do it like this. No. So, I have to split the word after the trigraph. 
So when I have a digraph, a blend, or a trigraph, I cannot divide them. So I have to divide them either before the digraph or after the, the uh, digraph. Okay, it depends on the way. We still have one rule. We still have. Who's Daniel's iPhone? No, it's not time. Okay. Um, I think it says Zahra Shaheen. Okay. Uh, when I have a consonant blend, a blend example here, like the uh, two letters that give me one sound like am, te, ple, pl, okay, uh, sp, sp, okay, I cannot also divide the words here between the blend. Example, uh, sorry, consonant blends almost always stay together in a syllable only when there are three consonants between two vowels, okay? So the blends stay together only when I have three consonants in the middle of the word. Like example here, pumpkin, pumpkin. Okay, uh, so here notice that I have a blend empty, okay? If I didn't have a K, then I had to split the word between the M and P. But since I have a third consonant letter, so I divide between the blend and the third consonant letter, okay? Uh, they are not difficult when you read the words, when you read guide the words, you will immediately know how to uh, split or di to divide the words in the closed syllables. So in brief, I repeat, the closed syllable is when I have a vowel letter in a word that is closed with a consonant, that is closed with a consonant letter. How do I split them or how do I divide them? Okay, if I have one, uh, two vowel letters that I have one consonant letter between them, then I either I divide it before be, uh, between the first the vowel letter and the consonant letter or between the consonant letter and the second vowel letter. The second rule says if I have a digraph or a trigraph, then I should not split them between the digraph and the trigraph. No, I split between the vowel and the whole digraph or trigraph. If I have two consonant letters in the middle between the two vowel letters, then I split between the two consonant letters. If I have a blend and the blend is followed with a consonant letter, a third consonant letter, then I have to split it between the blends, I keep the blend together and I split uh, it with the third consonant letter. How? We're going to see in the exercise that is found in your book. So this is exercise eight, page 17 in your ISI phonics booklet, okay? ISI phonics booklet. So please guys, these exercises are found in the ISI phonics booklet that you are responsible for them and you must solve them at home okay if you still have any questions a question about them later we can explain it you can ask me tomorrow for example yes Majid um, yesterday I solved uh, the page great great excellent so guys the first exercise here says okay let me show you the book it's better okay let's share the book the, so this is your uh, ISI phone booklet. This is the lesson, page 12. It starts on page 12. Then this is the explanation. You can revise it again. This is exercise. Okay. If you notice that in the box, I had I have words. Okay. These all of these words are with a closed syllable. I have. Uh, please, Mahdi, can you read the sorry, Yes, Mahdi, can you read the words? Yes. Read the words, please. Dentist, jogger, restful. Flutter, submit, okay, Mustang, stop, stop, option. Stop, stop, Mahdi. Till now, dentist, guys, I think that you all know the meaning of dentist. The doctor that... Uh, yes, it's the doctor for the teeth. teeth. Bravo. Okay. A jogger, okay, for example, we run, we jog, we do sports. So the jogger is the person who jogs, who runs. Restful, I think that you should all know the meaning of restful, right? Because restful uh, comes from the word rest. So something restful, something that makes you rest. Flatter, when you flatter yes. with someone, you praise him, you compliment him, you say nice words. Submit, for example, now what did I uh, say at the beginning of the session? You didn't submit me your uh, homework. So you didn't hand in your homework. You didn't give me your homework. Okay, this is what we mean by submit. Submit is to get. Um, a Mustang, you know the meaning of Mustang, Mahdi? No. Mustang, guys, does anyone know the meaning of Mustang? If you notice that there is a kind no. of cars that's called Mustang, why? And there is a horse on it because Mustang is a kind of wild horses. Okay. 
Mustang is a kind of wild horse. Oh, we still have 10 minutes. Okay, uh, we have uh, continue reading the words, Ya Mahdi. Continue reading the words, please. Absent, handful, empire, blizzard, culture, plumber, summon, excite, canal, valley, fragment, gallop, vulture, vulture pigment, hundred, fifteen, goggles. And goggles. Oh, okay. Okay, guys, uh, if you uh, uh, face some words that you do not know their meaning, you can check them in the dictionary. If not, we can, uh, we can also re-explain them tomorrow, but let's finish the exercise now, okay? We have two clouds this day, and in every cloud, I have a certain title. Let's see, write the spelling words that contain the matching syllable patterns. I have syllable patterns. In the first cloud, I have to put the words uh, that I have to divide between double consonants, the words that I have to divide between double consonants. Okay, in the second, the one I have to uh, put the words that I have to divide between consonants or blends. I have to divide between consonants or blends. For example, the first word, guys, dentist. Where should I divide this, this word? Where? The second one. Okay, give me where should I divide it? Between the E and N, between the T and I, or between the N and T, Mahdi? How should I divide this? It's two okay. syllables, then and this. Excellent, then and this. So I have to split it between the N and the T. So you should put it in the secondary cloud, in number two. This is cloud number one. This is a cloud number two. I will not have enough time to write them. So num uh, first word is in cloud two. Okay, Majid. Yes, miss. The second word. Jogger. Jogger. How should I split this word? Jog. Yes. Okay, so between the double consonant, you mean? Yes. Okay, so we'll put it in the it's first in the second. cloud. Oh, first, sorry, second. No, first. First, first cloud. First cloud, you have to put the words divided between double consonants. Thank you, Majid. Ali Tahini. Ali Tahini. Yes. Uh, the third word, restful. Where should I mm. uh, split the word here or divide it? After rest. Uh huh. So the two syllables are rest and full. Okay. And full. Here, notice something that I have a blend st and I have a third consonant letter. So I didn't divide the word between the um, uh, between the blend because I have a third uh, consonant letter. So I divided it between the blend and the third consonant letter. So I have to put it in cloud number two because I do not have a uh, a double consonant here. Thank you, Ali Tahini Malak. Malak? Yes. Okay. Flatter. 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 Yes. Um, there is a double consonant. Between the double consonant, excellent, between the T and T, number one, cloud number one. Thank you, Malak. Hala? Hala? Yes, miss. Okay. Continue. Submit. Uh huh. Uh, cloud one. Cloud one. Do I have double consonant? If I want to divide uh, submit into syllables, how do you divide it? Yes. How do you divide the word submit? Divide it into syllables. We. What are the, the syllables that we sub. get? Sub. Sub. And mit. And mit. Okay, so where should it go in the first cloud? Do I have double consonants here? Are the B and M double? Yes. They are double consonants? Double when we mean two consonants that are the same, Ihala. Oh, no. They are no, not no. double consonants. So it's in the second. There are two cloud. different consonants. There are two different consonants. So it's in the second cloud. Pay attention to this. Thank you, Hala. Thank you. Um, uh, Rena? Rena? Yes. Continue. Um, must. Must and. Must. Must. And. Must and. 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 Must and. And. Um, Read it again. Must and. Mustang. Yeah. Must 
tang. Yeah. So I had to divide it between the S and T, the two different consonant letters, mas and tang. Okay, so I split or I divide the words between two different consonant letters. So I have to put Mustang in the second cloud, in cloud number two. Okay. Thank yeah. you, Anna. Russia. Russia. Hurry up, guys. Yes, please. The time ends. Continue. Absent. Yeah. Ab. Yes. Ab. Sen. Up and ten. So, what should I put in the first or in the second cloud? Um, uh, first. Why do I have double consonants? Yeah, yeah, Russia. Oh no, no. Which it's the tuned one. Uh, it's different. Uh, uh, they are different consonants, not double consonants. They are different consonants. Thank you, Russia. Thank you. Um, uh, Brahim. 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 Miss Brahim, I'm calling you. Selena. Selena. Yes. Continue. Hands up. Okay. How should we yeah. divide the word hands up? What? How should we divide the word handful? Two. In, in uh, number two, in cloud number two, you mean? How, where? What are the two syllables that I get? Word divided between. I know, I got your answer, but what are the syllables that you get? What are the syllables, the parts that you get from the word handful? Handful. Hand and full. Hand and, hand and full. Notice that I have a blend, ND and F, a third consonant. So I cannot split the word between the N and D. So I have to split the word between the blend and the third consonant letter. Hand yes. full. Thank you, Selena. Hani. Hani. Yes, miss. Continue. Empire. M mm -hmm. and five. Two. Excellent. And two. Bravo. Two different consonants. Thank you, honey. Marlon? Marlon? Yes, miss. Continue, Marlon, please. Blizzard. Blizzard. Blizzard art. No, pay attention. What do we have in the middle? We have two double consonants. Mm -hmm. Z, two double consonants. So when I have two double consonants between two vowel letters, what should I do? I split the word between the double consonants. Okay, Marlon, pay attention. Pay yeah. attention. So it should go to uh, cloud number one. I split the word between two double consonants. Blizz and Zerd. Blizzard. Okay. Okay. Senftuni again. Sen. Senftuni. Miss, you're not answering. Whenever I call you, you're not answering, Ghassan Iftouni. This is the third live session when I call you and you do not answer. Oh. So guys, time, guys, the time will end. Please don't forget those I, who I told them that they didn't send me their uh, homework. They should send it. Please send it today, Zahra. Also, you didn't send me the. I think you didn't. You submitted the homework. No, you didn't submit the writing. Send it to me also. If you're hearing me, you didn't submit your writing, Yamas. Did you send it to me on WhatsApp? He's not answering at all. He's not answering at all. Please, guys, uh, watch the lecture video again and try solving the rest of the exercises. We'll be back to these exercises later. Okay, the time will end now. That's why. Tomorrow we will continue. Tomorrow we'll continue with our lesson. Bye, Miss. Okay? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.